Hey everyone, welcome back to another AP Bio Topic Review video. I'm Ruben, and today we're going to go over Topic 2.3, which is cell size. In regards to cells, something that is very important for the cell's functionality is a proper surface area to volume ratio. This ratio will affect the cell's ability for resources, waste, and energy to go into and out of the cell. In order to calculate both surface area and volume, there are equations which are provided on the AP Biology Test. You won't need to memorize these, you will only have to know how to use them. We will do one example in which we calculate the surface area and volume of the two cubes with these measurements. Pause to see if you can calculate them both. So we start off by plugging in the measurements of the small cube into the surface area equation, in which s is equal to 1, as it is the length of one side of the cube. Now we can simplify the equation, finding that the surface area is equal to 6. Now we do the same for the volume. Plug in 1 into s, and once simplified, the volume is equal to 1 centimeter cubed. Now we'll do the same for the bigger cube. And now we can, both, we can take both the surface area and volume of each cube and present it in the ratio of surface area to volume. After simplifying, you can see that the ratio is higher in the smaller cell and lower in the bigger cell. Molecules diffuse in and out of the cell's membrane, and the surface area of a cell has to be large enough to allow the organism to thrive. When a cell grows, volume increases within a cell at a much faster pace than the surface area does, and therefore, the surface area needs to be a sufficient size to supply the entire volume of the cell with resources. A lab that I did when I took AP Bio can really help with understanding this concept. This lab is called the agar cube lab, in which these agar cubes in different sizes are supposed to resemble a cell. I won't go over all the details of the lab, but I will point out that the clear part of the cube is supposed to resemble where nutrients are able to enter, and the pink part resembles where nutrients are unable to enter. As you can see, in the small cube, it is much easier for nutrients to reach most of the cell due to a high surface area to volume ratio. However, in the large cube, nutrients have a very hard time reaching most areas within the cube due to a low surface area to volume ratio. In order for the surface area to compensate for a large volume, cellular structures such as microvilli can form in order for an increased surface area without an increased volume. This was a relatively hard concept for me to understand when I took AP Bio, so make sure to comment any questions you may have and feel free to DM us on our Instagram if you are confused on anything. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more AP Biology content.